Hello historians! Today we are working on ancient civilizations, Rome. So um, you should have watched the video about Rome before you do this and then when you are ready you can get your packet and your journal and get ready to complete your pages. So I don't have my sample copy and I'm doing the best I can with my answer key. So if, if you have a page or if you have a question just let me know but I do want you to know that you might see pages here that you don't have in your shorter packet and that is okay because this learning is just for fun it is just exploratory and it's just to get you thinking about ancient civilizations so ancient Rome here we go <laughs> this page is decorated um, really with a, a lot of excitement ancient Rome is located in Europe. That's the continent. These are a little bit hard to see, so I might pull out a few. It's located next to a river, limited rich soil for farming. Uh, there are a variety of trees there. So these are the physical characteristics, what the land was like in Rome. Um, Roman people, human characteristics, they were farmers and traders and road builders. So remember, pause the video. I don't expect you to write as fast as I'm talking. So if you need to, just pause the video and then write your answer or find the page you're looking for. Okay, let's see what else we know about Rome. Um, goods and services were produced in Rome. I do have a copy of this one. So here's a big picture. If you want to, you can just pause. So they built ships. They were shipbuilders. They farmed. They made pottery. And of course, a lot of fishing happened around Rome. don't think I gave you this page, so we're not going to worry about that. It's more about government. Okay, so let's see. Architecture and the arts. I'm pretty sure I didn't include the arts in your packet, but if I did, it mentions mosaics, paintings, and sculptures. We can still see how the ancient Romans, um, or what they viewed as beautiful and how they created art. We can still study that today. All right, so I do have these. I'll pull these out in a different way. These are the uh, fold the flap pages, and here's one of them that you probably will be looking for. The Colosseum is ancient Roman architecture that is well known. It could seat 50,000 people and it was built by Emperor Vespasian. Took, it took eight years to build it. People watched the gladiators fight there. And it is a giant amphitheater in, this, in the center of Rome. There you go. I know you saw that in the video. Here's another page that you have. These were a really important um, invention. The aqueducts, or aqueducts, they brought drinking water to the Romans. It was a water channel built to move water. It was very scientific for its time. Um, it also carried away sewage or wastewater and it incorporated arches. So we have this Roman architecture and the aqueducts are also used there. So remember kids, just go back and pause the video to find what you need. Okay, I think I included um, the flip book for the gladiators. Oh, so there's some quick answers and my phone is ringing because distance learning is all about 
being flexible. Uh, this page is the gods and goddesses. If you can't find an answer um, by watching the video that I linked in the Schoology assignment, you can always ask me for an answer too. Or you could do a quick search online and probably find what you need. So lots and gods and goddesses. And as you get older, you'll probably read more Roman myths and hear more about some of these gods and goddesses. Um, so I think it's just good for you to have a little background knowledge. And it just is a good reminder that these were gods of stone and wood and idols and myth. Um, but our god is the living god. And I don't think I gave you this page, so that should do it. I hope you enjoy learning about ancient history and these ancient civilizations of Rome, of Greece, China, and Egypt. Have a great day, kid.